Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Roughly a week ago, I have been challenged to a debate by a member from the Shia community by the name of Dulisti on the topic of Muawiyah ibn Abi Sufyan alayhi salam. Naturally, I have decided to accept in order to see whether or not Dulisti would provide a single means of accredited evidence to the argument he presented. As expected, a day or two ago when the debate finally occurred, he proved to be quite the dishonest contradictory and rather silly individual that I expected him to be. Let us take a look at the highlights of the debate and watch together as he time and time again proceeds to contradict himself on a hilarious level. ...his words out of context because he provides names for the chapters and everything. For example, I will now ask you just a very simple question, Dulisti. Okay? What does the word... What, what, is, what is the name of the red part? What is written in the red part above the hadith you listed? Say again. What is the name? What is the red the red ink above the hadith you posted in Ibn Taymiyyah's book? Read it, please, to me. Translate it in English. No, no, no. no. Uh, the book of the book of Ibn Taymiyyah that you posted. Ah, the Sharh Sunnah Nabawiyya. What does it say? I put it in, I, I copied the picture and I put it at the bottom. I want you to translate it to English to everyone in the audience. What does it say in, in uh, exact? The red, yeah, the red link, translate it to English. What does this mean? The writers, the writers in, in, the, in the books of uh, Tariq. Okay, is Ibn Taymiyyah saying this is his statements or is saying this is the view of the people who author Tariqh? Where does, where does he say this in the, in the page? I'm not, I, I'm, I didn't use this word. I, I was not pointing to this uh, statement of his. No, listen, because it's one continuous paragraph. Yeah? When you write a one continuous paragraph, you read oh. the entire paragraph. This entire thing, look, I posted the image. Yeah? It's saying, وَهَكَذَا al what? Al Musannifun fit Tawarikh. Wahakada Al Musannifun Is this yeah. Ibn Taymiyyah saying or is this Ibn Taymiyyah saying this is the saying of the people who do history? Ibn Taymiyyah is saying there's no authentic merit for Muawiyah. This is what he's saying. Okay, I will repeat the question one more time so it's clear to the audience. What does the red say in English? Wahakada Al Musannifun fit Tawarikh. What does this mean in English? And the writers in Tariq, he is explaining what they are doing. Ajib. <laughs> did Ibn Taymiyyah say that, or did the, or did the historian say it? And Ibn Taymiyyah was quoting them. Dualist, he can't seem to decide here. <laughs> anyway, this isn't the only contradiction he makes. He makes quite a hefty one. Let's listen. Second of all. Uh, I didn't say that Muawiyah is a kafir. I said he's a munafiq. A few moments later. Astaghfirullah al can we, can we believe such man is a Muslim now? Can we believe he on Iman? What an absolute genius. You see, this is what occurs when you proceed to bring copy-pasted images from books that you did not actually read. The footage that I'm about to show is their quote-unquote so-called evidence collecting from one of his uh, favorite servers. Let us take a look and see how they collect their so-called evidence, shall we? But if anything comes up, it'll probably just give us the Shia pen page. Uh, wait. Let's see. Open the image new tab. What the hell? Oh, I see the issue. Okay, so brother, do you remember that you remember that website I gave you, Al Iman? Iman and you should be able to find it if you look through that website. Uh let me see here. There, give me the reference of Kedzid Omar. All you do is just give me the, uh, the, um, the website link. And then number two is that it's organized as letters. 
Like, so there's files like half, ba, al ta, al ha. Like, yeah, it's that's how it organizes things. So I need I need some page number number of hadith. Okay, give me one second. I'll yeah. find it for you. I'll find I'm it sure. for you, little boy. Well, hello there, little boy. <laughs> when Yazid when Yazid when your Yazid is staring at your son and it's making you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Oh, uh, wait, let me see here. See, those are weird, man. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. It's Kenzul Umal, volume 5, page 713, hadith 13, uh, 13,716. You uh, DM that to me? Yeah, I can. Here, one sec. I had to tell here, my boys. Anyway, uh... I to tap here time. So you're going to have to find that hadith and check the Senate. If we can find everyone in the Senate is okay with the... Uh, you got the right man um, for the job. The yeah, right if, we can the job. if we can make sure that Senate is good, we can use Kenzul Umal. But the, the problem with Kenzul Umal is that whenever you use it, because it's a hadith book, the Sunnis will be like, Senate. Senate. Like, Senate we worship the Senate. It's like, okay, you want the Senate, we can get you the Senate. We can check the Senate. Here goes so, that sentence. I'm like, and then I'm gonna try to get all the quotes, all of it through. I'm gonna try to quotes, get all of the books get, without senads. Okay, senads this, senad that, senad this, senad that. Exactly. Bro, that, um, I'm, gonna to, to I'm gonna move to. I'm gonna move to Shia only. I'm gonna move to Shia only. I'm gonna move to Shia only to continue this. So. You move me there. Okay. Anyway. Uh... Oh yes, a pro Shia website. I'm sure you'll find all the unbiased, authentic Sunni narrations there. And just like that, he rage quit the entire debate at the questions and answers section. But I must say, I do agree with the final statement he said before he left. May Allah indeed curse the enemies of the Prophet wasallam's family. Just as it says in your books, in Kitab al-Irshad, page 241. And Imam al Hussein said in his supplication against the Shia, For verily they enjoined to support us, but then showed enmity and killed us. Quite contradictory, isn't it? From everything we have seen thus far, I think we could reach a very, very clear conclusion. And that conclusion is that this individual that I was talking to has almost little to no knowledge in regards to the so-called evidence that he's posting and little to no knowledge in regards to basic conceptions in Islam, let alone the differences between Ahl Sunnah wa Jama'ah and their sect of so-called Shias. With that being said, I hope you echo enjoyed the video. It was rather hilarious and strange to stumble upon this person. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.